Uh, hello, uh, even there are a lot of factors that may cause cancer, and several of them, uh, they are now around, surrounding us, and they are now uh, everywhere, uh, so in our food, in our clouds, in our, so in our medications, and also in the air, in the atmosphere, and so even in some equipment in the house, and work, in your car, and so uh, that there are a lot of them, and there are many, many, many factors that may cause cancer, and you know that together, so when you gather, uh, together they can cause a cancer, but not, not only one, so you, you, you are getting in contact with the many of them in the day. So today we'll talk about cosmetics, so this, uh, this uh, component also, uh, it's, there is a long list and the cosmetics also are involved and they are also, uh, also causes of cancer, they can cause cancer, at least some of them. But, uh, and the, the compounds we talk about, and you have to check on the package uh, when you buy something, when you buy a cosmetic, please check if they contain these compounds we are talking about, we talk about. So, and uh, the manufacturer should indicate these things on the package and among the ingredients in your cosmetics. That show it is a regulation, it oblige all the manufacturers to indicate these things on the, on the package. And the, uh, the first one is the phthalates or the phthalic acid. That's the phthalates now are being widely used and in many cosmetics the phthalates are used that because it may render your cosmetics soft and easy to use like in some creams and some many, 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 many products that you can apply to your body or to your skin. And so, and phthalates are used for this purpose that because they make your, your uh, cosmetic soft. But they are, uh, all, uh, they are causes of cancer. They are confirmed as a cause of cancer. And uh, there are many research papers now published on the, on the phthalates. And uh, so all the things we are talking about are documented. So uh, the second one is the parabens. And you know that parabens are <laughs> now uh, all, uh, all, the, all the people now throughout the world. So, and the ladies now that very this that because the press has really uh, talked about uh, too much in uh, in the uh, in United States, in Canada, and European countries, and also in Japan and Korea. And so you know that uh, ladies know now that uh, the parabens are involved and also uh, in the problem of cancer, that uh, they should check if the, the products may contain or doesn't contain the parabens. Uh, now a lot of uh, items and a lot of things now, a lot of cosmetics now are uh, are paraben free and the manufacturer indicates and um, uh, this on the on the package uh, paraben free and there are a lot of cosmetics now are paraben free but uh, just you have to check that because parabens are involved in cancer and they are cause of cancer and they are confirmed on the lab animals and uh, sure now in the list of uh, the uh, causes of the cancer the chemicals that may cause cancer so the third one is the one for dioxan, and the one for dioxan is also used in the cosmetics. But the list is very long. There are a lot of things that, you know, chemicals that we can, will not give you so to, to get in last uh, with, with these things. That, but just the most hazardous and the most used and uh, that uh, frequently used in your cosmetics, and you can find them easily in anything that you can buy and you can use as cosmetics in lotion, in some creams, and in some painting materials and a lot of things like the hair dyes and so we will talk about this. So the 1,4 dioxin is also a product that you can find in your cosmetics and it also it might cause cancer so you have to pay attention and ladies have to check uh, to check with this on the package and, uh, they, you, and you have the right to ask the manufacturer if the product um, contain or doesn't contain the 1,4 dioxin or any compound that you want to ask the manufacturer about. And uh, so you have the right to ask the manufacturer also, and you can get information from the, the, from the plant, from the factory, or the manufacturer uh, who is make, me, making the, the, the product. They cannot lie and they cannot hide any, anything. That you can get information and you can real information without any lies and, any, any, without any, any lies and anything. So, and uh, also some coal tar. The coal tar is also a carcinogenic coal tar also is, that is used for some eyelashes and form soaps, uh, uh, decoration, so that it's a, a cosmetic product, that so it's a, a dark, it's a, a, it's a black product, that you know, coal tar, and it's carcinogenic, as it's used, and many ladies now are abusing by this coal tar, and it's carcinogenic, they should pay attention, or at least, you know, ladies who now has cancer, they are patient, cancer patient, they should pay attention, and they should, they should avoid all these things, so 
Uh, you, they, some people now are under the treatment, they are on chemotherapy or radiotherapy, and they are still using these cosmetics. So, so uh, and the so-called tar and the, some talc also, some powder, the talc may contain some asbestos. And you know that asbestos is carcinogenic, that we don't. So, and uh, we don't have to tell you that you know that asbestos now is, is, is known throughout the world that it's, uh, it's carcinogenic, that you have to avoid it. And asbestos may exist also in this, the talc, use it for babies and also by ladies or for the hands another because there is, there is a, 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 a moisture absorbent and it's used against so swearing and so that's a, for people having problems of the of this day it, it's a moisture absorbent so and uh, uh, there are many many of them but we are talking about when the more hazardous and more used uh, compounds so uh, the triclosan also the Triclosan also is used and is very dangerous. It's a very hazardous molecule that triclosan is also used in cosmetics. And you can find it in some toothpaste and also in shaving cream or in lotion for the body when washing the body. And you can find the triclosan. And uh, many other things, you know, that cosmetics also can get uh, uh, spoiled, can spoil, can get altered by some microorganisms, some chemical reactions like enzymatic reactions. And they should be also preserved, preserved against any, any spoilage and any deterioration. And we use for this some uh, antioxidant, chemical antioxidant, that because some uh, uh, fatty, matter, fatty materials that are used in these cosmetics, like cream and like some lotion, and so they may contain some fats, and these fats may oxidize and to get a rancid ox flavor and a rancid odor, and it's very bad to smell, you know. And the uh, BHT or BHA, which is a uh, preservative uh, against the chemical oxidation, uh, to not get the rancid flavor or the rancid odor, it's used also in refined oils and also in some uh, hyd hydrogenated oils, but it's also used in cosmetic BHT and BHE, and they are carcinogenic. But so for the cosmetic, they are not consumed. You know that BHT and BHE should be consumed that to cause a cancer. That, but even so, you know that uh, many, many things can be used as sulfate and as lauryl sulfate that is widely used and, the, and tremendous amounts of lauryl sulfate now is used in cleaning materials and immersion materials and many cosmetics that because it may give a big foam. All the foaming materials and foaming cosmetics may contain sulfates, lauryl sulfates, and some, or to some extent my, uh, the lauryl sulfate is used in many of them, in shampoo, in soaps, in lotions, in that is used, that, you, uh, that uh, all these uh, foaming material that you are using in your bathroom, that is, it's made of lauryl sulfate, and if you can avoid it, it's, it's, it's better that at least for people now with cancer, that people contracting a cancer, they should avoid these, these things, that because they can avoid them, so they are not so important for them. So. And so the, some screens, some sunscreens also may contain a lot of dangerous products, but the ladies now cannot uh, go to work without putting this sunscreen on the face, on their faces, and this is, so some hair dyes and uh, a lot of things that are now uh, demonstrated as uh, carcinogenic and they may cause a cancer. So if you can uh, avoid them, and some solvent also, some solvent just to remove the, uh, the paint on the sna on the nails, uh, nails, and some products that uh, ladies now are using to harden the nails. The nails hardeners also are very dangerous, and they <laughs> contain so uh, some hazardous uh, compounds. And uh, so that this this is not really that we would advise people now to not have problems with these cosmetics, not to avoid them, or at least to not abuse with them. So if you can use them one time amount or one time three months that it's not really dangerous, that you cannot get an amount really dangerous. But some uh, ladies are abusing and are using co too much cosmetics and many cosmetics at the same time and every day, and sure, they will have some problems that you, can, you know that the hormonal dysfunction now, hormonal dysfunction and some skin problems in ladies now may come from these cosmetics. Only these cosmetics can induce and they can cause these problems uh, in ladies. And you know that, that there are many, many diseases in ladies, in, in women, not in men. And because it's the cosmetics, that's because ladies and women uh, now uh, use uh, cosmetics more than men. So uh, the only one problem in men is the, so some cosmetics may lower the testosterone, the hormone testosterone in, in men. So uh, uh, the fluoride and chloride and many compounds now are uh, used in cosmetics may lower the testosterone and may also lower the fertility. 
in, in women and in men, so in both. That, so if people can avoid these cosmetics and also people now under chemotherapy or radiotherapy or people now contracting a cancer, at least so if they can avoid them, that it would be better because uh, you cannot show, you cannot so be, uh, be or you cannot get in contact with these things, uh, these causes of cancer, and at the same time you are so the, uh, under the treatment and you are waiting for the reversing or for the, to get rid of this cancer, that it's possible, but at least things that you can do, you have, you should do them before, and you can go to your doctor, that we are, we are not advising people to not get, and to not get chemotherapy, but at least not to not aggravate the situation, not aggravate that uh, the, uh, the, the case, but uh, so just if you can avoid things that you, they, are, they are not necessary for life, that it would be better. So, inshallah, until another episode, see you. Assalamu alaikum.